Hello everyone, welcome back once again. I am Victor Odigoma uh, Ohia. Uh, in our class today, we are going to be looking at some WAEC questions. You know, just in the last class, we started introducing the relationship existing between logarithm of numbers, I mean, standard form and logarithm of numbers. So that is what we just started in the last class. And uh, we have done uh, some work there. And then right now we want to, I just want to take us to look at some wire questions that emanate from standard form. Okay. Then we can now delve deep into other problems that has to do with a uh, logarithm. You know, you realize in the last class, if you were there, otherwise you check it out, that we were able to connect from standard form to logarithm of numbers. We did that very, very clearly, all right, in the last class. So right now we are going to be looking at, um, this is, these two questions you are seeing here are wire questions that emanate from standard form. So I will do them, then we will now go into logarithm of numbers problems, okay? So look at this problem. This question says, this question says, um, without calculator or table, evaluate. Without calculator or table, evaluate 0 0.6 times 32 times 0 0.004, all divided by 1.2 times 0. 008 times 0 0.16 and this one says this is from one year and this is from another year both are work examinable question so this one says 0 0.09 times 0 1.21 all over 3.3 .3 times 0 0.00025 so let's start from this one solution solution how can i be able to handle this problem without using calculator without using mathematical table take it out so are we you know i keep on saying that in any mathematical problem given to you there must be an access point all right that might be our slogan <laughs> so right now let's look at what is going on here I'm going to change all these ones in decimals to fraction. That's what I will do. So 0 0.6, I will change it to 6 over 10. Multiplying 32 is there, not a fraction. So, but uh, I will make it over 1 to look like that. Okay. Multiplying this will be 4 over 1, 2, 3. That is 1,000. Okay. Do we get that? All right. Permit me to put this in a bracket. In a bracket. So that this division can come like this. I'm sure you get it. Hmm? All right. This one, I will open another bracket for it. And this will be 12 over 10. That okay, multiplying eight over one, two, three, eight over one thousand, multiplying eight over one, two, three, and then finally multiplying sixteen over hundred, sixteen over one hundred. Mm -hmm. I will close the bracket. Look at it, check it out. So this is my way, my approach in handling this problem. Now, the next thing, you know, in division, you turn that, you invert that, and then multiply. Okay, this right hand side. So I will bring this thing to become, in bracket, six over 10 times 32 over one times, 4 over 
1000 okay and then times all those this will go up all right so you will have 10 times 1000 hmm? then times 100 okay then all over 12 times 8 times 16 okay that is what we have i don't know if you can capture this if i now write this like this i want to bring all of them out so that i can cancel out some things so i will have 6 times 32 times 4 times 10 times 1000 because it's all multiplication times 1000 then times 100 all over 10 times 1 times 1000 times 12 times 8 times 16 so i will take away this and this i will take away this and this and then i will now bring out the rest where we can clearly see them and so we have left we have left 6 times 32 up there times 4 what is left again times 100 all over down here we have 12 times 8 times 16 12 times 8 times 16 okay look here you will see that 6 can cancel itself 1 cancel here 2 8 can cancel itself 1 cancel here 4 what again 4 can cancel itself here 1 cancel here 4 this 4 can cancel itself 1 cancel here 25 what is left here i have 4 times here i have 25 okay 25 all over 2 okay uh -huh. all over 2 what is this this is 100 divided by 2 which is 50 and they say with according to that question it says leaving your answer in standard form so evaluate this leaving i didn't write that leaving your answer in standard form stdf all right leaving your answer in standard form so i will write 50 in standard form that is just you know 50 is the sentence as 5 times 10 raised to the power 1 so this is the result in standard form okay i'm sure that this explanation is well taken so the next thing we want to look at is the second question there that says the second question that says 0 0.09 times 1.21 all divided by 3.3 .3 times 0. 000025 like i said i will change all of them to fraction all these decimal values change all of them to fraction that's my access point okay so i'll come here i'll come here my 0 0.09 will become 9 9 over what 100 times 1.21 will become 121 121 over 100 yeah 100 you have two places of decimal there okay then like i did before enclose it like this put division open this one and put 33 over what now 10 then multiplying that is how many zeros how many value points one two three four five 
that should be 100,000. So that should be 25 over 1. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay? This should be 100,000. All right. So here we go. We will now do as we did before and have 9 over 100 times 1, 2, 1 over 100 then times this as we did before we become 10 times 100,000 okay over 100,000 over 33 times 25 okay let's see what we can do here take away one and two Take away one and two. Take away this and this. Take away this and this. And uh, what again? What again can go here? Let me see. Three goes here. Three. Three goes to nine. Three. Three goes to 33. 11. Wow. 11 can cancel itself. One cancel. One to one and give us 11. Let's check what is left here. Let's check what is left here. I have three here. I have 11 here. And I have 10 times 10, which is 100. So this will be 3 times 3. I mean, 3 times 11 is 33. And 10 times 10 will give 100. All over. What is down here? 25. 25. 25 will cancel this F1, cancel 100. That's 4. So we now have 33 times 4. 30. Very, I like doing these things myself sometimes. Into the calculator there. Three into this is 12, right? To carry one. 12 plus one, 13. So we have one, three, two as our answer. But they say put this answer in standard form. So this in standard form is 1.32 times 10. Raise the power. What did I tell us in the last class? Do you remember what I said in the last class? When you want to change a number that is greater than one in standard form, number of digits in that figure, what? The number of digits minus one. That gives you the power of 10. Okay. So this is three digits minus one. That will give us two. Okay. So this is how to write this in standard form. I trust God that this explanation is well taken. All right. This is one part of our, you know, what we are doing. I will stop here and then bring us back. Please look at it very well. Look at it. Examine it. And also examine it this way. I'm sure you have taken notes over here. Okay. So thank you so much for being part of the class. All right, um, we are going over to the next class where I will be taking us through uh, uh, logarithm of numbers. We are going to be examining uh, two things. Please, you have to follow us. In the next class, we are going logarithm of numbers. We are examining two things now. Multiplication of numbers in logarithm and multiplication and division and then we also look at clearing roots and powers. All right, you have to stay so that we can be able to capture. We are capturing all these details. And I'm trusting God it is going to help someone out there to be adequately prepared to write O-level examination. Thank you.